So let me go to the ABS itself and try to communicate with it and see if I'll be able to communicate with it. No, I'm not able to communicate with it. Okay, so then let me go back and go and check why I'm not able to communicate. So this is the ABS unit. This vehicle has ABS unit. So this is the ABS unit. I'll remove it and check it. I'll remove it and check why the vehicle is not able to communicate to the ABS. Okay, so now I'll check the ABS system and see which one. And see which one, if the power powers are working. So, that is gone. This one also is gone. And I think this one will be the power. And that one also is zero. This one also is zero. Let me test one. Yes, and it's 14 volts when I test on the battery. But when I test here, I'm not getting any power. When I test here also, I'm not getting any power on my multimeter. When I test here, okay, now I'm getting the battery voltage. So let me test this one also, and I'm also getting the battery voltage. So that means my power and my grounds are okay. <clears throat> I have to load test it. Then after load testing the system, then I'll know what to do from there. Because after load testing the system, I have to check the can high and the can low in the system. And then I can know what to do. So now because one side is power and the other side is ground, I'll feed in with this, my test light and load test the circuit and see. So it has to turn on and you can see it turns on and this one also turns on. So that means my power and my grounds are okay and yes they are okay. So now it's left to me to test the ignition side and the current network also and see the issue. Okay so for this one what I'll do is I'll test the ABS socket and see which one. I think this this one. Okay, this body tells me that it is a can high. So normally they are opposite and there is a can low. So I'll set up my scope to check. Those are the most important thing now that I've gotten. So I'll, I'll do that before I plug it in and see if maybe the ABS is the one that is having the issue. So I'll set my scope up. So now, I'll set my scope up. Uh, let me set it to, I'll set it up to five volt per division. Then let me turn on channel C and set it also to five volt per division. But I can do it 10 volt, but I'll set it up to five volt per division. But before that, let me test and see. Let me test and see. Okay, so that means now my scope leads are working. So I'll connect it to the connector here. Where I know my pins are fit. And, and that. Then let me go to the scope and check. Then you can see I'm getting the waveform so now I can change the time also and then I can set my trigger so I can set my trigger also then this is where the trigger is I just bring the trigger up that's the blue dot so that it can 
Okay, so now I've set my trigger and the can waves are quite okay because I don't see any problem with it. So I'll tell the customer that it is the ABS unit which is faulty. It is the ABS unit which is faulty, which is not working. So we have to replace the ABS unit. But before that, I'll shut the vehicle down and see if the can network goes to sleep.